For some neighborhoods in NEPA, today's rain meant flooding, a word we haven't used much lately. 2822 News reporter Emily Allegrucci joins us live in those rainy conditions tonight, talking about how it affected a city in Schuylkill County. Emily? Good evening, Nick. As you can see, conditions have slowed down from what we were seeing earlier in the day. Now, first responders were busy all day long dealing with the effects in the rain. This is including Pottsville, where it was all hands on deck to stop the flooding. Northeastern Pennsylvania was showered with some much needed rainfall on Monday. But in some areas, the soaking offered more problems than solutions. There's a lot of problems down here in downtown Pottsville with, with uh, with the water and uh, storm drains and things like that. Officials in Pottsville had to call for backup as the rain continued to pour and flood the city. We diverted all the rest of the stations in the city to come down here and help. Um, the wheel has flooding, drives this here has flooding, good intent had flooding. Not even the fire departments were safe. Pottsville Fire Station 10, good intent, fell victim to the downpour, which caused many delays. Taking care of the flooding was not the only obstacle firefighters faced. It was bad time with traffic, shutting roadways down. People don't understand we got to do that. And that's probably the worst of everything. We had um, flooded roadways, uh, our Strange system uh, couldn't handle any more water, which backed up downtown, flooded uh, multiple streets and basements of businesses downtown. One of the businesses affected was men's clothing store Drastis and Son. Second Street flooded really bad and uh, it went in through our back uh, door into the basement. We got about 16 inches of water. Drastis says he is always prepared for flooding, but not this bad. When it hit, you know, it, it hit fast and by the time I got down here, we already had, you know, most of the water down there. Was, there was no way to get it stopped. As Pottsville first responders work to make accommodations for the heavy rainfall, they say that they haven't seen rain like this in years. It's probably been a couple years, probably two, three years since we had it flooded this bad down here. Even though some rain was needed in Pottsville, it may have been too much of a good thing. It came down real heavy. I mean, we need rain. We need this type of rain for a couple days, but it just came down. When you get a couple inches in that short period of time, our system's 100 plus years old. They just can't take it. Before leaving Pottsville, the assistant fire chief did tell me he thought the worst of the storm was over and was hopeful things would clear up soon. Nick, back to you. Sometimes those older infrastructures, it gets a little uh, hard on the system. Emily, thanks.